going on everyone? Welcome back to School Network. My name is Nick and things might look a little different from what you're used to. I'm seeing if maybe I want to move my setup into here, possibly have this be an area where I do some live streams in the future, maybe for the NFL draft. I'm still figuring things out, but this is where I might be filming some videos here in the near future. Enough of that though, we have some news to talk about and it's pretty unfortunate news coming out of the world of the Minnesota Vikings. I know I like to be positive on this channel, but this is some pretty significant news. For those of you that don't know, Jeff Gladney, he's in a little bit of trouble. For those of you that are not aware, second year Vikings cornerback Jeff Gladney just turned himself into the Dallas County Jail earlier today on the day I'm recording this, and he also posted a $10,000 bail following his arrest. Now the way that he got arrested is very unfortunate and it's something that we've seen all too common throughout the last few years in the NFL. I'm going to read this off of the NFL's website right here that reported on this issue. A 22-year-old female and Gladney were involved in a verbal altercation regarding content on a cell phone and the altercation escalated to the point in which Gladney assaulted the victim. Gladney subsequently left the location of the altercation before police officers arrived. Now that doesn't offer a lot of detail into this situation, but I do have a little bit more detail from a different source. Now this information is coming from the Star Tribune, for those of you that don't know or are not from Minnesota, that is a local newspaper here in the state of Minnesota. Uh, this is in reference to a local TV station. They reported that Gladney tried shoving the woman's face toward her phone to try and use its face ID to unlock the phone, pulling her by the hair trying to hold her still. Yeah, this does not sound very good at all for Jeff, but let's keep going. According to the report, the woman said Gladney struck her with closed fists causing pain in the side of her ribs in the stomach and the back, and hitting her with an open hand across the head. And just when you think it can't get any worse, she also accused Gladney of strangling her by the neck, which impeded her breathing for approximately five seconds after returning to an apartment complex in Dallas. Jeff, this is not looking good for you. The woman alleged that Gladney later grabbed her by her hair while the vehicle was moving and dragged her across the ground. Now, as we know, issues like this are no laughing matter. Domestic abuse is... Just far too big of an issue, especially as of recent in this league, you know, this just continues to make the league look bad, and for Jeff Gladney, for someone as young as he is, this is not looking too great for him. Now, obviously, Jeff Gladney is going to be uh, facing some charges here. Uh, the reports I'm seeing are he could possibly face two to ten years in prison. Now, whether that develops or whether the league tries to bail him out like they uh, seem to have done so with many other players before, we don't really know. It is yet to be seen. But this is just so upsetting because Jeff Gladney, while he started off the 2020 rookie season, not so hot. He, along with Cameron Dantzler, did play a lot better towards the end of the season once they had more experience. And it did look like things were on the up and up for a young and, frankly, in trouble Vikings secondary. But this is definitely going to put a block in the road. And that is the unfortunate news for today. Of course, uh, no one ever wants to see this or hear about this. But Jeff Gladney, you have made a major mistake and... Uh, frankly, even though he is one of our players, I hope he faces the necessary consequences. This definitely means, though, now that Mike Hughes will not be going anywhere, he is probably going to get a little bit more playing time than we expected. But the question is, is this going to affect where the Vikings go with pick number 14? Do they go corner now if anything happens with Jeff Gladney and him not being able to play? Nobody knows. There's a lot to uh, unpack with this issue. So that is the news. You guys will probably be seeing this the day after this news broke just because I got on making this video a little late. But better late than never. And that's going to wrap up this video, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the button down below to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to share this unfortunate news with anyone that has not heard yet, then you can do that on any platform with anyone. If it's a crack dealer on the corner, that's your guys' best option. You guys already know. My name is Nick, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Adios.